belting. <laughs> That's what rest of day is going to be like. <laughs> So here we are, Clanwyn Island destination. It's looking, it's looking perfect. Gotta say, there's a breath of air. And welcome to another Mali photographer. As you can see, Clanwyn Island begging us. Come, come and see, join us on a journey of mystic photography. Got to be different today. I'm here on a Nissy meetup with Raymond McBride. There's quite a few of us, but it's not a meet-up vlog this today. It's a Mali vlog. I'm going to try and look at some different compositions to last time I come here. The classic shot, of course, everyone gets. I'm going to try and do the opposite side. I'm not going to do anything that's not been done before because a place like this so small, everyone has looked and seen online compositions that people do so for me today it's just going to be about enjoying the island getting some shots of the sea movement in the sea and some varied looks that that I, you know are going to test me compositions always will be focused on leading lines, patterns and uh, textures taking you to the main focal point but we'll, we'll see you know I like to experiment I like to do things my way and uh, they don't always work out but it's a lot of fun I suggest everyone should do that you know I think I've said this before come and get the hero shots get it in the bag take your time and then look for something different uh, it's just a magnificent place I can't emphasize it enough I bet a lot of people come to this lighthouse and they're over there shooting it but don't come up it it's a fantastic view from up here looking back towards everyone where they're shooting it's actually a fabulous shot have a look so you got the old ruins of the the church of the abbey this using as a leading line I have seen a couple of shots and, and the cross as the dominant object Oh, it's stunning. I've, I've been over here on the other side. I'll just show you. Quick. Well, we've got a little bit of shelter. We did. Gone. Bit windy today again. So I've just had the leg of the tripod on the wall. And you've got this beautiful line of the sea coming in. These rocks and then Snowdonia mountain range behind you. It's a little hazy, but it, that adds a bit of like... It adds something to it because it's hazy, it's a bit of a romantic image of the great Snowdonian range and uh, these rocks. I think we'll come back up here for dinner, have dinner round the back, bit of shelter, get me 70 to 200 on and get some long exposures of these rocks looking down. Abstract again, bit different and the seals knocking around, I'm sure I've just seen one on the edge of these rocks. You really can't beat this. Sound of the sea, the colour, amazing. I've gone for some one and a half second shots and then I've gone for some 11 second shots and just mixing it up because you have to. It's beautiful. Look at the colour of that sea. So we've got a soft edge grad on. Point three and a six stop for now. It's really, really bright there, so I'm messing around. I 
I've tried some F14 for bring it a, a get a bit more length, bit a bit more time through the shutter. But uh, yeah, it's just playtime. <laughs> Not sure what else I can do here now. I absolutely adore the shot. I might go for a bit of a 70 to 200 and and do a pano and just bring it all closer and compress the scene but I'm just loving the long exposures at the minute right, see there well we've just come back been wandering, can't find anyone got his chocker here today too many people Wow Follow Raymond they said Come this way they said I've nearly fell off a rock Been hit by a seagull But have a look at this folks This is what we call a picture within a picture it wouldn't look out of place on a Pink Floyd album cover or a more maybe Jethro Tull here we are with, with John Cheatham one of our star photographers taking a very unique shot you probably can't see me there we go he's been, he's been studying this now what do you think John? I think after a couple of practices I think it'll be absolutely <laughs> p -p 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 perfect <laughs> <laughs> uh, all day this, all day. Love doing a bit of secret vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Z, look at this, eh? Crazy bunch. Out again. Off we go. I don't know what's next. We're waiting for the sunset now, but it's been interesting so far. And uh, we've got vlogging royalty, David, the ninja, Tom Peters. Come a long way, so you pre appreciate the man. Subscribe. This man don't need any help. <laughs> no. I do, but in a different sense. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so if this goes on, subscribe to David Griff. D Griff Photo, yeah? Close enough. Close, innit? Yeah. Ninja Photo. For Ninja. Close enough. <laughs> I'm sacked. Right I'm sacked. <laughs> 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 need, they need a t-shirt each by the way if you want a t-shirt they're available from Redbubble at only 16 99 well it's the end of another fantastic day I can't complain much about the fact that we're leaving the island when the sunset hasn't happened yet and it still could it's snuffed out but take a look at this who wouldn't want to be here now? Them lot! That's who wouldn't want to be here now! Them lot over there! See there! By the... The sound is so, so nice. So I thought I'd come out and walk over here and do my final piece to camera. You know what I'm going to say. So if you like what you've watched, Click subscribe and uh, hit the bell for notifications when I put out another video. Thanks so much for everyone who comments and subscribes. It blows me away. So from us all and myself from Clanwyn Island, there's only one thing left to say. You know what that's going to be. City!
passage. Come all the way back to Glanwyn. It's a bit of a pilgrimage for photographers. Some of my heroes. Paul Johnson stood here. Many photographers have stood here. Some great, some of the best. And I'm stood here, making my way, trying my best. And I just wanted to say, thank you for a thousand subs. It means the world. I can't believe it. I remember being on 20, 50, around that mark and just, yeah, having a laugh. Still am, still doing it, still having fun. And I can't believe that you've all joined me on this little journey. Let's see if we can get it to 100,000 eh? Why not? Dream big, I don't dream at all. I'm not here for this to be a quick thing. You know, I've got a few years left in me. Who knows? 10 years from now, who knows? But there's one thing I can definitely say, and that's thank you to each and every one of you that's commented, that's, that's subbed, that's followed me. And it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. My photography's transformed. Vlogging transforms you. It makes you realize that you can be someone and confident that you can have the potential. And a message to everyone out there and people who are like, you know, not sure, because it gets hard. You want to pack in sometimes. You think it interferes with your photography. For me, it's only, it's only made me photography stronger. Nissi Ambassador, you know, I'm so proud of that. They're a great team and uh, no matter what people say or how many people come along and try and take that away, they can't. And I'd, I'd like for everyone to know that no matter what you do, stay true. Don't lie. Don't make out as if you're something you're not. Stay true. <laughs> it's so cheesy this. I do feel like Alan Partridge now, but thank you for the thousand subs. You are all awesome. Right, let's crack on eh? There's only one thing left to say, and that... See there! From Clamwyn Island. <laughs>